How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I rank the top 15 wildcard players in MLB The Show 23. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now we have a little bit over a week remaining for set one cards. We have about eight days as of 12 p.m. noon Pacific time today. And the wild card spot is something that I think a lot of people are going to be talking about. Uh, I was talking about it in my previous video. And basically, the wild card spot is simply a spot on your team where you can put in any set card from any previous season that's no longer eligible. So we're going to get right into the rankings. I would say at number 14 slash 15, I have two guys listed here. You could pretty much pick any type of captain from set one. If you are using a theme team, if you're using any captain boost, the captain will obviously boost up um, all set players, right? Not just players from set one. It will boost up set two and set three guys. So I think it's worth it to spend maybe a spot or at least a wild card spot on a captain if you don't have some of these other cards. At number 13, I have Kensuke Kondo. Same type of thing here. This is a free card, a utility player, a good solid lefty that brings pretty much all the tools to the table. Um, if you don't have Joe Maurer, this Jorge Posada or Kyle Schwarber, uh, you might want to use Kensuke Kondo at your catcher position. Uh, this Jorge Posada, I think, might be slightly better. He is a switch hitter. He doesn't have the same vision attribute. Uh, but I could see some people using that Jorge Posada behind the dish. At number 11, we have another more of a budget player, Cattell Marte. I think having a switch hitter in a wild card spot could definitely be extremely effective. You might have maybe Fernando Tatis rank slightly ahead of Cattell Marte. I don't know, depending on the difficulty that you're playing on, of course. Um, for Hall of Fame, I'd probably rather use Cattell. For All-Star, I'd probably rather use uh, Fernando Tatis. At number nine, we have Munitaka Murakami. This one might come to a surprise to you, but uh, simply due to the fact that I don't think we're going to get another card for Munitaka Murakami because he was a World Baseball Classic card. I don't think he's in MLB The Show 23, like, technically. Um, I don't think, I mean, I guess he could get a Kaiju card or a Charisma card later on. Um, but I think having that World Baseball Classic card is a great option there. At number 8, we have Vladimir Guerrero, more of a DH, but an extremely strong hitter. He's, uh, I think he's one of the better hitting cards in the game right now. 109, contact 107 with 125 power against both sides. At number 7, we have Ken Griffey Jr., more of a complete all-around player. Right, Not as much power, right around the same contact attributes. Lower vision, which does make a big difference, but then uh, great defense and great speed out there. At number six, we have Shohei Otani. And Shohei is the only pitcher on this list simply because you can use him at DH. You can use him in the outfield. If you put him in at DH or on your bench and still use him in the wild card spot, then you can pitch with him in just about every game if you don't have the best uh, set two pitchers. Um, with that being said, at number five, we have Francisco Lindor, a solid switch hitter who I think is still one of the better cards in the entirety of the game. I could see a lot of people using uh, Lindor at their wild card spot. At number four, we have Mike Trout, a really solid option. I don't know if Mike Trout's going to get an all-star game card. I don't know if he'll get a card right when set three drops. So Mike Trout is always a great option there. At number three, we have Trey Turner. This card, uh, I guess, speaks for itself. This is uh, my favorite card besides maybe Chipper Jones or Mickey Mantle. Uh, this card has been the most fun to me anyway. He just gets on base, he steals, he hits home runs. At number two, we have Babe Ruth, and I will definitely be replacing Babe Ruth with the brand new 99 overall Kyle Schwarber over at first base, but uh, I think a lot of people will still use this Babe Ruth card in their wild card spot. I will personally be using Chipper Jones Almost every single game in my wild card spot, I might mix it up every once in a while, put in maybe another player on this list, or maybe somebody different. That's the cool thing about the wild card spot this year, is that you can kind of interchange it whenever you want. I could use Chipper Jones for a game, Babe Ruth for the next, and then Trey Turner after that. I think those are probably my three top options, but that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and peace out.